Okay, we're moving on to the magnetic lasso tool selection. Um, and we are going to open up our daisy file. So with your Photoshop program open, go to File, Open, Daisy. Select the daisy file. And then name it, your name. Save as. And save it to your desktop. Okay, so now we take our magnetic lasso tool. And this tool is especially useful for quickly selecting objects with complex edges set against high contrast backgrounds. So see, we have the bright red daisy. So we're going to use this tool, and it's a really kind of a fun tool to use. Um, you might want to go a little slow because it could get, get away from you and create a big zigzag all over your document. So just what we're going to do is just select the edge of this daisy. So you're going to go around, and if you need to make a point, you can click there, and then continue to go around, click, go around, and it just sort of automatically adheres to the edge, which is so nice. And we're going to go around. And so you don't have to really put much effort into it. it kind of goes all the way around. Um, and if you need to put in some points, the place to do it is like at the area where it's in between the petals, you know, the deep area. But, you know, I haven't needed to in the last couple of times I've practiced this. So um, it just automatically creates uh, selection, you know, it just sort of grabs those pixels that are that color, which is kind of nice. And then we're going to go around the stem. And you want to go a little slowly so you make sure you don't get an erratic selection. And then go back up. And you might want to put a point in there and put a point in there. And then just almost, we're going back up to complete the selection. So we're going around the petals and it automatically puts those points in there. Which is kind of neat. But what a nice way to make a selection. So I just made another point there and put one down there. And then, okay, you're going to go to your beginning point and click it. And there you go, an active selection. So what we're going to do is we are going to create a, an alpha channel again. So we're going to go to select and then save selection. And we're just going to call this daisy one. Daisy one. Oh, sorry. And hit OK. So we got the new channel. And there you see it in the channel panel, which automatically pops up. So now, with that daisy selected, we're going to select inverse. And we are going to uh, look, save that selection. So select, save selection, and call it daisy2. And then we're going to just go back over and see how the first daisy has the background all in black and the second daisy has the flower in black. And that shows you you're selecting the inverse. And then just deselect and save your file. So save it as daisy. And we've got that done. That was easy as pie using that magnetic lasso tool. So we're good. Save that. And you want to save it as a Photoshop file. And you want to make sure the alpha channels are selected. Um, that little box is checked, so we save that into our file. So save. We'll replace it because I already saved it once. And we're good to go. So.